Have you ever pondered what life would be like on Mars? A question that has ignited the imagination of humanity for centuries. Mars, our neighboring red planet, has been the subject of countless stories, theories, and even some explorations. Thanks to the tireless efforts of researchers and astronauts, we've begun to peel back the layers of this distant world, unraveling the secrets it holds. But as we delve deeper into the mysteries of Mars, we're faced with a slew of formidable hurdles. Imagine trying to survive in a place with extreme temperatures, swinging from minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit at night to a scorching 70 degrees during the day. Couple that with the constant bombardment of cosmic radiation and a glaring lack of breathable air, and you've got yourself a conundrum of cosmic proportions. Yet, despite these challenges, scientists are exploring an intriguing possibility. Could we live underground on Mars? Living underground on Mars may sound like science fiction, but it is a real possibility. While the surface of Mars is a harsh landscape, the subsurface offers a host of advantages. For starters, it provides natural shielding from the intense radiation of space. This shielding is a key factor in maintaining human health on Mars. Next, consider the temperature swings on Mars, varying from a balmy summer day to a frigid winter night. Living underground provides a natural form of temperature regulation, making it more comfortable for future Mars inhabitants. Now, let's turn our attention to the vast lava tube systems present on Mars. These intriguing geological features could potentially be used as ready-made shelters. With further exploration and development, these tubes could become the first Martian homes. But how would we make these underground habitats livable? Turning Mars's underground lava tubes into a livable habitat may be a complex task, but it's not impossible. To breathe life into the red planet, we'll need to tackle some significant challenges. First off, producing breathable air. We can potentially achieve this by converting Mars's carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere into oxygen, a process known as electrochemical separation. This would involve some pretty advanced technology, but it's already a focus of research for scientists. Next, generating electricity. Solar power could be a viable option, given Mars' exposure to the sun. We could also consider nuclear power, which has the advantage of being reliable, regardless of the weather or time of day. Finally, growing food, hydroponics, or soilless farming could be the answer here. By recycling water and nutrients, we could grow plants in a controlled environment using Mars's own mineral-rich soil. So when can we expect to see the first humans living underground on Mars? The concept of humans living on Mars is no longer a question of if, but when. As we peer into the future of Mars colonization, the horizon is rich with possibilities. We have ambitious plans and timelines set by pioneering organizations like NASA and SpaceX, each playing a pivotal role in paving the way for human habitation on the Red Planet. NASA's Artemis program, for instance, aims to return humans to the moon by 2024 as a stepping stone for future Mars exploration. While SpaceX is forging ahead with its Starship missions, with Elon Musk's audacious vision of establishing a self-sustaining city on Mars as early as the mid-2030s, these missions aren't just about setting foot on Mars, they're about laying the groundwork for future Martian settlements, a testament to our relentless pursuit of the unknown. Living on Mars, particularly underground, may seem far-fetched today, but with our advancing technology and insatiable curiosity, it's a reality that could be closer than we think. That concludes Cosmic Curiosity. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Universal Facts.